what is here you have you have the reward and the recognition you are getting to the next level of your life you're getting to the place of success seekers of insight and wisdom to wasted traditions tarot where the veil between the seen and the unseen is lifted i'm thrilled to embark on this journey with you exploring the mystical realms of the tarot join me as we uncover the hidden messages unravel the mysteries and navigate the pathways of possibility together um so let's shuffle the cards <clears throat> open our hearts and embark on this magical voyage of self-discovery and enlightenment. Welcome back to a realm where the whispers of the cards illuminate the path ahead. I'm Tiffany, your friendly, intuitive tarot reader. And if you're new here, welcome. All right, beautiful, beloved souls. We are going to do a collective reading. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. Whenever you receive this message, it is intended for your use and your good at that time. It is timeless. Let's find out what Divine Spirit needs us to know at this time. Divine Spirit, do tell. All right. First card out, the sun. This is your present energy, beloved. <clears throat> this is your present energy, the vitality you carry with you on a daily basis, the joy, the expected success. And I will say, please uh, do not be bothered by some sounds you may hear. I have my windows open here in my office. It's such a beautiful morning. Just letting in the light, the love, the vitality, right? Let's see what else. Divine Spirit, what else? What else for the collective? Okay. The Magician. <clears throat> One more. So what could be, um, I feel like this is, the Magician is popping up in the area of resistance. So I feel like some of you may be um, struggling to believe in your personal power, to believe in your ability to manifest. That's what I'm feeling. We're going to get more to get uh, clarification and understanding. And finally, in the outcome, we have the Hanged Man. So with this outcome... And the hangman showing up for you, beloved humans. This is you coming to an understanding. This is you getting the message and understanding what it is you need to know. This is you getting clarity and surrendering your final outcome. You surrender to the process. You begin to grow and receive the information you need getting new perspectives new outlooks a new way of doing things a new attitude even right so let's get some more with the tarot all right queen of pentacles page of pentacles okay a lot of Fixed energy and three of pentacles. Wow. A lot of fixed energy. I'm going to pull these out. I'm not going to turn them yet. I am going to get them out. All right. So in your current energy, beloved humans, with the sun, we have queen of pentacles, page of pentacles, and three of pentacles. A lot of uh, earth energy, a lot of stability here with what I'm getting with your current energies in the sun. So again, your current energies, beloved human, vitality and joy and success, uh, victory, right? A lot of fun. And you see here, the child on, on horseback is pointing upward, pointing upward. That's, that's where your energy is. You have the, the, the desire to move onward and upward and level up your life. 
and leveling up your life is exactly what's going to happen with the queen of pentacles showing up for you here in this current energy beloved human so with the queen of pentacles that is onward that is upward that is the the stability that you are uh seeking the stability that you desire that is your prosperity that is you um minding the business that pays you right that's what I'm getting. So you're definitely moving up. And then with, with this three of pentacles here in your reading, I'm sorry, the three of pentacles and the page of pentacles. So what I'm getting with these two, the page and the three of pentacles, what it is, right? This is you, this is you wanting to move onward and upward the desires of your heart manifesting, but we're going to get to that, that manifesting, uh, a stability in your finances, in your, in your practical life. And you're achieving that you are in the progress of, Oh, I am so sorry. You are in the process of achieving that with this three of pentacles, right? Yes. So you are, you are taking the steps necessary to get to the successful place that you desire with this sun card and the child pointing up toward the sun, leveling up. You are absolutely in the, the energy of wanting to level up your life, beloved human, which is beautiful. Now, in the area of resistance, what we have here is... The alchemist. This is the Illuminati tarot. So the alchemist is the magician. So it feels like you're you're having a bit of a struggle to believe in your power, to believe in your resourcefulness, your resourcefulness to bring you to this Queen of Pentacles moment. So, and it doesn't mean you have to stay here, right? But it is there is some sort of struggle I'm feeling with this. You're you're struggling with uh, the ability to to manifest is what I'm feeling with this magician card in the area of resistance for you. So let's turn over the cards and see what we have here. Death, the Empress, well, big energy. Oh, okay, okay. So death card. You have um, you have Scorpio in your reading. Okay, so this could be for Scorpio, right? Someone out there viewing this, you could be Scorpio somewhere in your birth chart, in your placements. So in the area of resistance and the death card coming up, that is a struggle that you are dealing with to uh, stand firm in your personal power, right? To believe in the resourcefulness that is within you. And then you have... The Empress and the World. This is truly powerful. <sighs> okay. Something, what I'm feeling is, mm -hmm. this is, there's a transformation happening. You do feel like you're struggling with the ability to manifest, but you are transforming as you continue the process. Do not give up. Do not give in because the death card is symbolizing for you this feeling of not strong enough or not resourceful enough is coming to an end with this uh, Scorpio energy with the death card and then the Empress showing up for you. There is abundance available to you. The abundance of personal power, the abundance of um, knowing your worth, the abundance of your ability to manifest, right? Yes, there is growth. There is growth for you. And then here we have the world card. You will, <clears throat> you will receive the desires of your heart, right? You will be able to do this. The struggle you're feeling right now is temporary is what I'm getting. It's temporary and you just need confirmation. And here is your confirmation that you are on the right path. You are working the process. You are walking your journey. It feels slow going to you. It feels like nothing is changing or nothing is moving. You feel a little stagnant and unsure with this magician showing up in the area of resistance, but there's a shift coming. There's a transition coming. There's a transformation because you're coming into 
a, a, a period of abundance and a period of fulfillment, right? That's what I'm feeling for you. And then here in the outcome, the outcome, we have the hanged man, right? We have the hanged man in your outcome. And this is you surrendering and not forcing anything. You're letting go and you're allowing things to come as they will, and you go with the flow. That's what your outcome is. After the struggle with the resistance and personal power of feeling like things aren't shifting or going as planned or happening in the time, in your timing, the, the universe wants you to know, beloved human, it is all in perfect timing. You miss nothing, right? Excuse me. You are missing nothing at this moment, you are exactly where you need to be. So in this in this final outcome, we have the Nine of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Three of Swords. That heartache that, that perturbs you, whether it's heartache over finances, whether it's heartache over relationships, love, or career, this, this is something you have been trying to to get an understanding and to learn your next moves. And with the hangman in your final outcome, you are getting the information you need to take the next steps forward to manifest the desires of your heart. That is what I'm getting in this final outcome. You are, you are looking for the answers to bring you out of the Nine of Swords energy, right? You're coming out of this energy because you have taken the time. Your patience is paying off. I know you want to move fast. You want to go fast, but have patience and let go. Surrender with this hanged man energy. Have patience. Hold on a little bit longer so that you can come out of the feeling of anxiety or or mental stress over various ongoings in your life because what is here you have you have the reward and the recognition you are getting to the next level of your life you're getting to the place of success right you're getting to the desires of your heart beloved human because you cannot live in this anymore the the confusion or the chaos or the heartache or emotional pain right you're coming out of that is what I'm feeling with this, this final outcome. You're getting the understanding that you absolutely need. I want to pull a couple of more cards to, to get some further clarification, Divine Spirit. Give me some more. Again, take what resonates and leave the rest as this is a general collective reading. So it may not resonate with you and that's more than okay. Some pieces will, some pieces won't. Everything will, everything won't. Ten of coins, absolutely. Absolutely coming in. You're moving toward that success with your the, the feeling you have, the, the energy you have with the sun card. You want the ten of coins and it's showing up for you here. Is showing up for you. The abundance, the, the financial stability and security is coming towards you. You have the world. You have the empress. You have the death card and the hangman. A lot of major energy is pointing in the direction of up. Pointing in the direction of onward, right? So this is a beautiful sign. That things are working in your favor. The universe always conspires to see you win, right? Nine of Cups coming into the fulfillment, the joy that you desire. You are carrying that energy. And I'm here to remind you, don't lose that energy. Have patience. Stay in the energy of success. Stay in the energy of joy and vitality and contentment, right? <clears throat> One more, please. Fulfillment and satisfaction. That's the energy you hold, even if you're unsure as to whether you can do it, as to whether you can take one more step forward. And spirit is letting you know you have what it takes to get to exactly where you desire to be. One more. Mm 
-hmm. Thank you. Nine of Wands. It's been a long road. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's been a long road for you with this Nine of Wands. And you're getting there. You know, you're a little bit worse uh, for wear, but you haven't given up. You will get, you will be fulfilled. You will attain the desires of your heart. You will have satisfaction in this journey. The Ten of Coins and Ten of Pentacles and the uh, Nine of Cups here to bring you to the Nine of Wands, right? So the Ten of Pentacles, the abundance that you seek, the wealth, the fi financial security, and the Nine of Cups, this fulfillment and contentment and satisfaction along with the Nine of Wands, you are absolutely fulfilled. You are satisfied. You attain the desires of your heart as you carry the energy of the sun with you on a daily basis, even if it feels like it's not moving. Even if it feels like, am I on the right path? You are. You're on the right path. Hold on a little longer. Have patience a little longer. Your energy, your process that you're going through, your emotional being your emotional state, your mental state with this sun, uh, energy and success. That's where you want to go up on upward and onward. Hold on a little bit longer because the nine of cups, the 10 of pentacles, the nine of wands, the empress energy, the world, things are transitioning for you. Things are moving on to the next level for you, beloved human. Make no mistake about that. You are on the right path. There is no mistake here, right? There is no mistake here for you. Uh, I want to pull a spirit animal. One spirit animal, divine spirit, for the beloved humans in this collective reading. Oh, yes. See, one card, one card, one card, please. One card for the collective. What spirit, animal, energy are you embodying? The swan spirit, time for a deep dive. What I'm feeling with this. You stay the course. You go even deeper. You may be questioning whether you're on the right path. Spirit is letting you know. Spirit is guiding you. Go deeper with this swan spirit. Go deeper. Your healing is deeper. It's not surface level. This, this journey you're on, the path you are walking, it's deep. And you can do this. Go, go deeper and find the answers you seek. Get the strength that you require to keep moving forward, the, the strength that is necessary to hold on a little bit longer and have patience knowing. Go a little bit deeper. Don't give up now. The swan spirit, go a little bit deeper on your journey, deeper inward. Nothing on the external is going to give you the information or answers that you need. It's all within. Go deeper, right? Let's see. An angel number for the collective. Single card divine spirit for the collective. This is the information you were meant to hear right now. 2020, compassion, mercy, diplomacy, potential, service. Recovery, adaptability, renewal. It is a confirmation that your assumptions and beliefs are correct. You believe this. You assume this is where you're going. You believe this is where you're going. Divine Spirit is here confirming that. It is a confirmation that your assumptions and beliefs are correct. But it's also an encouragement to use your talents and gifts because they will benefit the world and your pockets. Wow. Wow, they will benefit the world and your pockets, right? Be of service to others. Your potential is enormous. This will benefit the world and your pockets. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, right? And the Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, the Empress, the Six of Wands, the Sun card. This is all working out in your favor. So dive deeper on this journey. Dive deeper in order to manifest the life of your dreams. 
Your potential is enormous. This, this is here to encourage you to use your gifts and talents. Do you know what your gifts and talents are? If not, go deeper. Those answers will be revealed to you. If you're patient, so the angel number is 2020. Compassion. Have compassion for the journey that you're on. Have compassion for the, the path you are walking and what it takes to keep putting one foot in front of the other. Have compassion for yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be impatient with yourself. Here's your sign. Here's your confirmation. You will have the desires of your heart when you keep putting one foot in front of the other. When you decide to dive deeper and realize there are no answers on the surface. The surface is the external world. Everything you need comes from within. Here's your sign. Have compassion, mercy, diplomacy. There's so much potential. Be of service to others. You are encouraged to use your talents and gifts because they will benefit the world and your pockets. If you're worried about your financial state uh, status right now and whether you will have money and funds for the future to take care of yourself and your family and, and retire or travel the world, whatever the desire of your heart, your gifts and talents make room for you. Your gifts and talents make room for you. Also stated, your gifts and talents will give you the funds you need. But your gifts and talents have to be shared with the world so the world can benefit from what you offer and so that you can benefit financially from what you offer. It is it is give and take. It is six of coins energy. It is six of pentacles energy. It's that reciprocity. You give and you receive. Give and receive. So give the world your gifts and talents. Give the world what it is that you know will will. Help humanity to flourish and thrive so that you may receive the, the finances you deserve for the work you're putting out there. All right, beloved human, I hope that this resonates with you and you are benefiting from this. Remember, this is a timeless video. You made it to the end. This message was and is for you. And I'm so grateful to have you here viewing. Please don't forget to like, comment on this video, subscribe to the channel today so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I have for you. I will see you soon. Until then, take care.